We've looked at how to receive money. What we'll do now is to look at how to spend money. If I go over here to the spend money and click on there, it'll open up a screen where I can actually go and spend some money. It asks at the top, where do I want to spend the money from? In this particular case, I'm gonna take it out of the check account. Electronic payments and grouping it for electronic payments we'll look at in a future video. It tells me on the right hand side how much money is currently in my check account. It's saying $1,000, the $1,000 I just put in on the last video. It also asks me, is it tax inclusive or not? I normally leave that ticked, but occasionally I may want to put an amount and show the tax going in separately. The date, it will default to the last date shown in there. At the moment, I'm doing this on the morning of the 19th of July, 2012. If I wanted to put the date onto tomorrow's date, if I hit the plus sign on my keyboard, it'll advance it one day. If I hit it again, it'll advance me two days. And if I hit the minus sign, it will take me back to the current date. A little shortcut saves me doing it. The amount of this transaction, I'm actually going to my bank and I'm gonna take $50 out to put into the petty cash tin at the office. Put in the 50 and that's all I need to put in. I don't have to put in the decimal point and the trailing zeros. It'll then ask me for a card. We'll talk about card files probably in the next video. It'll then ask me if there's a payee that I have in mind. If there is, yes, I might just put in self. And why am I drawing it out? A quick memo to me for petty cash. It'll then ask me the account number. If I know the account number, I could just fill it in. If I don't know, I can just go to the drop down menu and it will come up with a list of all the accounts in there. If I take it back to the beginning, it'll say that the first one in there is a check account, my payroll check account, my cash drawer, my petty cash 11140. Use that account and it'll come up as petty cash. It'll remind me of what I want to do with it. The amount it will fill in for me. If I want to change it, in other words, I have more than one thing I'm actually going to allocate the money to, I can do that as well. My jobs, we haven't set up any jobs yet and we're not going to. The memo, I'm going to put in that it's the opening petty cash. And is there any GST on that? No. I will now click record and the transaction is now recorded in there. If I cancel out of there, it'll take me back to the main work area, the main command center. 